Hi guys, and welcome to another edition of Zupo's SEO Talking Tea. Today's conversation, what are broken links in SEO? Um, this is a conversation I like to have because broken links are often discussed when it comes to link building strategies or just general SEO. And broken links, to me, is a very generalized term that I thought used to mean all these different things, but in the SEO realm, it means one specific thing. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about that today. But before we begin, I want to introduce the tea we have today, because this is Zupo's SEO Talk and Tea. Today we have a roasted oolong. It's a very freaking guest on this show. It's a very smoky oolong that was gifted to my family uh, when my father um, visited China uh, years ago to go reconnect with um, you know, our family line and everything. But let's go ahead and get brewing and get chatting. So what are broken links in SEO? Broken links, let me start with what it is, and then we can talk about what it isn't. So uh, what a broken link is in SEO means that a, uh, uh, you have a link pointing into your website from a third-party domain or website. So let's say another website is pointing to a link to your website, but the destination of that link is a 404 page or pointing to a page that doesn't exist. So let me slow down and give an example. Let's say you own a website called pizza.com and you used to have a page called pizza.com slash spaghetti. But now you, you don't sell spaghetti anymore, so that page has been taken down. You don't, you don't sell spaghetti anymore. But back in the day, you used to have reviewers who reviewed your uh, food, and they actually linked to pizza.com slash spaghetti, right? Because they were talked about it in their review. Well, this, that's what a broken link is. If you remove pizza.com slash spaghetti, that link now points to a page that does not exist, right? And so why this is important is because a broken link means that now a third-party website is pointing a valuable link to your website, but it points to nothing. And the reason why that this can become a big implication is that, you know, acquiring links is one of the most difficult things in SEO. It is difficult to acquire high-value links, right? And so in Acquiring a link that goes to a 404, you essentially lose all value because Google does not like when users are navigated or directed to pages that don't exist. It ruins the user experience for people. And so in that case, if that link was pointing to .com slash spaghetti, you would get no value from that link because it's pointing to a page that doesn't exist. Even though it points to your domain, that's great. But because it's a 404 page, you essentially lose almost all value of that link. So a broken link does not mean like a non-functioning link on your website. A broken link, I think, is so generalized that I think like what, when people hear broken link, they they hear like, oh, the the uh, contact us link on my website doesn't work. It's not pointing anywhere. That might be a valid way to use that term, but in an SEO purpose, it specifically means a link pointing to your website that points to a 404 page. Now, that's what a broken link is in SEO. Let's quickly talk about how to fix it. If you have uh, pages uh, if you have links coming to your website that point to 404 or non-existent pages, there are two fixes. The first easiest one that I would recommend right off the jump is redirect. Redirect that URL, the, so in this case the .com slash spaghetti, to a different URL. Just do a 301 redirect and that tells Google even though you know if users and links link to this page, we have moved this URL to a different URL, so please pass the value and the, uh, and the importance to the different page. That way Google understands, okay, you've just moved URLs, so if someone lands here, we'll just move them to the, the other URL. In the best case scenario, move that URL or redirect it to a, a, a similar corresponding one, or at the very least, to your home page. I don't always recommend to the home page because the home page is, you know, is one of the pages that easiest gets the most links. You sometimes you want to drive links to other pages that you know could use some more of that link value. So that's number one. Just redirect. 301 redirect the 404 page to you know corresponding URL or at least the home page. Second, uh, go and reach out to the person who's linking to you and ask them to update the link. This one is much more difficult because um, I don't think anybody, you know, first, it's hard to outreach to someone. Second, get a hold of them. And third, getting their attention and then having them actually go in and update the link. Uh, a lot of people are really busy. They don't really want to go in there and figure that all out, especially if the website is owned by different people or that's run by different people. It's hard because you might get the contact, but then they have to contact the web department. That gets a little messy. In its purest form, though, if you can get that, get it, get that link updated to a new URL. But in most cases, it can be very difficult. So in the short term, just 301 redirect. That way you don't lose the value of a link. It therefore is not broken anymore and it passes value to pages uh, and gives actual value to your website. So 
And that's what a broken link is in SEO. Um, and so when you hear about broken link building in SEO, it really means like about like cleaning up your link profile so that you know you don't have links pointing to uh, non-existent pages on your website. Uh, hopefully that clarifies and that helps explain what broken links are. If you guys found the video valuable, please like and subscribe. And I hope to see you guys again soon. Thanks, everybody.